to simplify the left hand side. Okay? But I might think it, is, it would be also impossible to simplify the right hand side. But I, I'm not going to go there. Let me simplify the left, the left hand side. So our left hand side is equal to tan theta divided by 1 minus tan squared theta. Okay? Now I'm sure you can see that. Yes? No, no. There's no mass allocated for that. So first thing here, I'm going to convert the tan to sine over cos. I'm sure you, you can see that on the right hand side we don't have tan. Therefore, we have to eliminate the, the tan both in the numerator and the denominator. So this will be I think that I wrote the, the first page. Let I go to the first page. <coughs> so that will be sine theta over cos theta. Right? This is all over. Now, that 1 minus tan squared theta, I can rewrite it as 1 minus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. You should have seen here that this is a tan squared theta. So if tan theta is got sine over cos, like this. Tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Therefore, tan squared of theta is going to be equal to sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Okay. That you should have been, been able to pick it up if you have been following everything we are doing. So we can convert this tan squared theta to sine to sine squared theta over cos squared theta. So this becomes 1 minus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Right? So this will be equal to, now, that's, but in this case here, we can simplify the denominator. So we find the LCD for the denominator. So we can write this as, I'm surprised why you might, you might have struggled with this question. It's not that difficult. So this will be the sine theta over cosine of theta. Please allow me to convert this division line here to a division sign. So I can write this as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Because if you look at this fraction here, or rather this denominator, okay, it has got an LCD, okay, and that LCD is going to be cos squared theta. So if you multiply this one by cos squared theta, then that will be all over cos squared theta. Well, the LCD is cos squared theta. Remember I said yesterday, you need to know your algebra, algebraic fractions. You have to know your algebra very well. That's why we have got that. Then, from here now, you must always look at your other side. Now, the other side is got cos squared theta minus sine squared theta as a denominator, which means I've got that already, because I'm going to convert this division to multiplication. So we end up having sine theta over cos theta times cos squared theta all over cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Right? I hope you can see that. Then, one of these two cos theta will cancel with this. So, we will end up having sine theta, okay, we are starting with cos theta, so we can start by writing cos theta times sine theta all over cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So this will be equal to, okay, that's equal to the right hand side. Therefore, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay. 
So the question requires knowledge of the fundamental identity plus algebraic fractions. Okay, you don't have to think too much. Just use the basics. All right. Any question? Then, but we've got a question. Number 10, isn't it? This one, yeah. <coughs> right? Now, number 10, I'm going to do it the same way. I will simplify the left hand side. Well, it's a little bit better to simplify the left hand side for this question here. But I, it might be possible to simplify the, the, the right hand side, but I'll do the left hand side. So, number 10, the left hand side equal to tan x plus sin x all over tan x minus sin x. <coughs> okay? So this will be equal to, now, the, the tan, obviously, we have to convert it to sin over cos. Because on the right hand side, we don't have what? We we don't have tan there. So I can write that as sin x over cos x plus sin x all over sin x over cos x minus sin x. So this will be equal to, now, for the numerator, okay, we have, we, have, we have got a fraction, so we need to find the LCD. And that LCD is going to be cos x. So I have to multiply this sin x by the cos x. So we end up having sin x plus cos x times sin x all over cos x. Okay? Then, the denominator also, it has got a fraction, so we have to find the LCD. And again, it will be cos x. So we end up having divided by sin x minus cos x times sin x. This is all over cos x. All right? Now, from here now, we need to convert the division line to a division sign. Okay, I'm sure you can see that in our numerator we've got a common factor. Now, I'm going to take out the common factor later on. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, so we can end up having sin x plus cos x and sin x. This is all over cos x times well, that will be cos x over sin x minus cos x times sin x. Okay, so this cos here and that cos, they will cancel out. Right, so we'll end up having sin x plus cos x and sin x all over sin x minus cos x and sin x. This will be equal to. All right, let's check out the common factor. Okay, check out the common factor in the numerator. So sin x will end up having 1 plus cos x. The denominator will also have a common factor. So that sin x times 1 minus cos x. So these two will cancel out. So you will be left with 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x. All right. Now, when you get to this point here, our right hand side, you look at it, it has got 1 plus cos x squared. Now, 
That should be a hint that we need to multiply the numerator here and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay? So I have to multiply the numerator by the conjugate of the denominator, so this will be times 1 plus cos x. Also, this one will divided by 1 plus cos x. We are doing this mathematical manipulation for us to get 1 plus cos x all square. And the only way is to use the conjugate of the denominator. Alright? So, from here now, we can end up having 1 plus cos x squared. Okay, over. Now, if you multiply 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x, you will get 1 minus cos squared x. And 1 minus cos squared x is equal to sine squared x. So it will be 1 minus cos x squared over sine squared x. Right. So this is equal to the right hand side. And then you can say therefore the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay. So remember that the concept of the conjugate is very helpful when doing uh, some of these proofs. Alright, any question? I hope that you are following and you are you will be able to do these questions on your own and get them right. Right, and then number two. Right, number two. Now first, it's very important for you to know that some questions on proofs of identities they require knowledge of factorization. Alright? So this question here, well, I could simplify the right hand side. Okay? It's very much possible. Okay? Which I think could be better, but we can also simplify the left hand side. Right? But I'm going to simplify the left hand side because I want to show you something which is important. There. So the left hand side. equal to 1 plus 2 sine x cos x. Okay, by the way, how many of you were able to do that question? Okay. Divided by cos squared x minus sine squared x. Right? So, if you simplify the left hand side, what you have to do first we convert this one here to sine squared x plus cos squared x. Right? Remember, one of the two fundamental identities, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to 1. There are times when you are doing proofs where you can replace the 1 by sine squared plus cos squared. So we will do that here. So if I replace that, we end up having sine squared x plus cos squared x. But see, because I know that if I add these two plus these two sine x, I'll end up having a trinomial. And that trinomial is a perfect straight trinomial. It will make more sense to write the two sine x as the second term than to write cos squared x. So I'm going to remove that. Okay? I'm just, I could have written this step and then rewrite, rewrite it on the next step. But I'm not going to do that. So I'll start by writing times two sine x, cos x. Then I'll put the cos squared x at the end. The reason for doing this is for me to be able to see the perfect square trinomial. Alright? If you put it as your second term, you still have to rearrange to this form. Is that clear to everybody? Hey, can you talk? <laughs> okay? So, We have got that. Then our denominator is cos squared x minus sine squared x. 
Now, I want you to be aware that for the denominator as well, we, we can factorize a z t here like this. Okay, it's a difference of two squares, by the way. So if I want to create this 1 minus tan x, it means that I have to divide sine and cos somehow. Right? So what I'm going to do there, I'm going to factorize. I'm sure you see that on the right hand side, we don't have the square. So I'll factorize the numerator. If I factorize the numerator, it's not difficult. You get sine x plus cos x. Okay, for now, let me write this that. Okay? If you factorize that, that numerator, you will get the sine x plus cos x. It's a perfect square trinomial. Therefore, the two factors are identical. I think you have heard me talk about perfect square trinomial many times. Many times. Since last year. Right? So we need that concept from algebra. So you get that. Then, that's a difference of two squares, the, the denominator, right? So let me simplify. So I can write the denominator as cos x minus sine x all squared, like that, right? But the thing is now, oh, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. It's supposed to be times, times cos x plus sine x. Okay, what's the difference of two steps? Now, do you agree with me that one of these two is the numerator is identical to this? Okay, I hope you can see that sine x plus cos x is the same as cos x plus sine x. So what's gonna happen is that one of these two is gonna cancel out to be. So the numerator is gonna become sine x plus cos x. But I'm going to swap the sine x and the cos x and write it like this denominator. So, we follow it. Right? So, if I swap that, I can end up having cos x plus sine x all over. Then here, as I'm putting cos x, so I'm not going to touch that. So, this will be cos x minus sine x. Right, now the problem comes now is how to end up introducing the tan. Now to introduce the tan here, you can divide each term in the numerator and the denominator by cos. Okay, so if I divide the cos x by cos, I'll get my 1. If I divide the sine x by cos, I'll get my tan. Also in the denominator, so that's the plus. So this one I'm also dividing by cos x, and that one I'm also divided by cos x. Okay, do that. Mathematically, this is allowed because you are dividing with the same term throughout the expression. Yeah. Okay. All right, if, if I were to ask you, what's the common factor? I'll ask you, what is the common factor in the numerator? What would be your answer? What's the common factor for the numerator? No. If I would say factorize factorize that numerator which I circled in green, what would be the common factor? Uh, one. No. You're... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a few seconds to, to think. What is the common factor for that numerator? If you tell me the answer first, I'll, I'll buy you a drink during break time. No. Thank you. So, if you look at the, the, the numerator, the common factor is 1 over cos x, right? So if I take it out, we'll get that, right? 
That same common factor is also the common factor for the what? For this denominator. So if I take it out like that, we'll go back to our original expression because these two will what? They will cancel out. We'll go back here. Do you see that? Yes. What? You divide each term in the numerator and the denominator by the same what? By, by the same, maybe you can say, same number or the same expression. Alright? Are you following? Okay, so from here, I proved to you that if we involve, we go back to the original expression because I'm aware that some of you are asking of how come or well, what's happening here. So I clarified it here. This is the clarification that we go back to the original what? expression. Okay, so here <coughs> you end up having the one plus the tan x. This is all over here. We have one minus tan x. Okay? And this is our right hand side. Alright, so therefore the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side. Okay. Is there anything else that I need to know like this? Okay. 